Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is gonna be all about masking. This is something I use in so many of my projects and I think all designers should have a good understanding of it. Masking is essentially a way to remove part of an image without it permanently being erased. This video will be helpful if you have never masked before or if you have and you're just looking for some new tips. Masking is a feature in a lot of Adobe programs, but I use it mostly in Photoshop. I use it mostly to remove backgrounds from an object or a person, so that's how I'm going to demonstrate it in this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to use this photo I found on Unsplash by the photographer Mike Vaughn. So I brought the photo into Photoshop, and the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it by hitting Command J. And then I'm going to use my magic wand tool, which is right here. You can also get to it by hitting W on your keyboard. And then up here, you'll see this button that says select subject. So I'm going to click that. And Photoshop is actually very good at automatically selecting a subject. If you have a solid background, it will sometimes perfectly select the image and you won't have to do any other work. But more often than not, you do have to do some manual work yourself. But it's usually a great place to start by hitting the select subject. And then to turn the selection into a mask, you're going to come down here where it says add layer mask and click that. I'll hide the background image so you can see now it's created this mask and you can see over here, this is the layer mask that's been applied. The black area of the mask is what is now invisible and then the white area is what is visible. If you press shift and click on the mask, it will temporarily disable it. And then you can just click it again without holding shift and it will reappear. So if we zoom in, we can see it's definitely not a perfect selection, so we will have to do some manual cleanup on this. I'm gonna double click into the mask and it will pull up this view. You can change the view by clicking here. You can select this so you can see part of the background and you can change the transparency of how much you see of the background. I like to leave it on this overlay with a bright color. So you can do some cleanup in this view. You can use these brushes over here, this first one. If I zoom in, I can use this brush to add in some areas that it cut out. And then I can hold Option to erase. Now, Photoshop did a really good job with this, with the curly, frizzy hair, but there are still a few spots that need some cleanup. So you can go over here to this refine edge brush and paint over these areas and it should clean it up pretty well. If you want to try further refining the hair, there is this button up here, Refine Hair. It just added in a little bit more detail, but I'm actually gonna undo that. I don't think it's necessary. Let's add back in her sunglasses right here. So that is looking pretty good. There's still some more cleanup I wanna do. So inside of this view, there's a few other really great adjustments you can make. Sometimes the mask will leave you with a small edge around the whole object. One way to get rid of that is to use this slider down here where it says shift edge. If you pull it to the left, it will pull the selection inward a little bit. You can also try using feather and smooth sometimes it's useful. There's also this contrast slider which will make the selection more crisp if you want it to be you're only going to want to use these sliders if it's an even line or even imperfection around the whole object okay so i'm going to press ok and exit this screen and the rest of the cleanup i'm going to do by hand using my brush tool first i'm going to add a solid color behind her by clicking down here and solid color make it something bright so it really contrasts. And now I'm gonna start using my brush tool to clean up the edges. So I'm gonna make sure I have the mask selected. And so remember that anything black will be erased and white will be unerased. 
And as long as I have black and white colors selected over here, I can toggle between the two by hitting X on my keyboard. So using white, I will paint back on some areas. If I have a straight line like this that I want to paint one color, I'm going to select here, hold shift and click down here and it'll make that straight line for me. I'm going to use this same technique around her whole body. And remember that if you hold shift, you can turn off the mask temporarily. And that's helpful if you want to see if it cut out anything that you didn't want it to cut out. Like here I can see it cut out her shirt behind her. So I'm going to bring that back. And now I'm actually going to turn on the background layer and then turn down this green layer so I can see some of the full photo while I'm doing this. And then to quickly change the size of your brush, you can hold Control Option and then slide left and right to change the size of it. So that's one way to mask using the select subject function within Photoshop and then cleaning it up by hand using your brush tool. Another way I like to mask if I want a really crisp edge is using the vector pen tool. So I'm going to delete this mask by right click and delete layer mask. And for this one, I'm going to use this pen tool right here. And if I right click, I'm gonna choose the Curvature Pen Tool. You can also get to it by hitting P on your keyboard. And the pen tool is vector-based rather than pixel-based, so the lines will be very clean. And this can be helpful, especially if you wanna add a stroke around your object, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm gonna start tracing around her body, adding points every so often. And if you double click when you create a point, It'll make a sharp turn instead of a curved turn. So you'll see here, if I double click, I can make it curved and double click and it makes it more sharp. I'm going to trace all around her body using this. And you can delete any of these points by clicking on it and hitting delete. For now, I'm just going to roughly trace around the edge of her hair. Okay, now that I have her entire body outlined, I'm going to right click on the line and choose make selection and press okay. And then with the image layer selected, I'm gonna go down and add a layer mask. And I will just turn off the shape layer so it removes the black line. And now if you wanted to add a stroke around your object, you would double click into this layer, add a stroke, and I'll press OK. And now you can see that using the vector pen tool to create the outline, you get a really clean, crisp edge. For the hair, I'm gonna show you what happens if I use the same technique I did before. So I'm gonna double click into the layer mask here and I'm gonna hit this button up here. It says refine hair. And see Photoshop does a very good job finding all the frizzes and the curls. And I can again use this refine edge brush to do a little bit of cleanup here.
So you can see that the hair looks really nice here, but if I press OK, you'll see that the stroke gets much less pretty. At this point, I'm gonna do the final cleanup using the brush tool. It's just what I find a little bit easier to do cleanup around the hair. So I have my mask selected, I'm gonna use my brush. And for some reason, when I refined the hair, it added a few random spots around her body. So if I wanted to have a really clean edge, especially if I wanted to have a stroke around this, I would probably end up removing a lot of the frizz and maybe even some of the curls just to make my life a little bit easier. One last trick I will show you, sometimes with curly hair, you see some of the background poking through, but you don't wanna have to cut out all of those bits of background. So I'll actually just paint on top of the hair to kind of fill in the hair a little bit. So I'm gonna add a new layer and with my brush, I'm gonna pick up this color here by using option and then select the color and turn down the hardness and just paint in a few of these areas. So this technique is definitely a lot easier with darker hair when you can't see so much of the details. So there she is all masked out and now you have all of my tips and tricks when it comes to masking in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a few things about masking. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try to answer them for you. Also consider subscribing so you never miss a video and I'll see you in the next one.